Hi guys. Hi. 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 <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. It just took me out. It didn't work anymore. It said, get out. It took me out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to finish the class right now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sorry. You, you, I left you in the middle of an explanation. I'm sorry about that. Okay, but I'm back. Okay. Um, let me turn back to the whiteboard. The only problem is that I won't have access to the, the other whiteboard. So I'm going to have to start from scratch. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to start. Okay. All right, tell me again when you can see it. Now I can see. You can see the whiteboard? Yes. Yes, we can see. Okay. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to have to start from scratch because I lost the other whiteboard. Um, so let's see, um, uh, hold on, give me a moment. Okay, so, uh, we were talking about prison, prison perfect. Okay. All right. So, um, I gave you the sentence the, the the original sentence I had given you was um, we have Actually, I'm going to take away the bold. Okay. So, we had have uh, visited New York twice. Okay? And so I told you that this one over here was going to be in the um, present perfect. Okay, and that's why we're going to be using have. And then after have, we're going to be using the past participle of visit, which is um, visited. But when we want to give more details about um, that experience, we're going to say it in the past. For example, we're going to say, we oh, change the color. We went to New York. Um, Three years, uh, three years ago, and in January, or in, in or and last year in January before the pandemic started. Okay, so that was the sentence that I had originally given you. And if you notice in this in this um, topic or in the sentence here, when I'm giving more details about um, about the the um, the experience, I'm going to use not the present perfect anymore. But we're going to actually use the simple. Oh, oh no, hold on. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to use went, which is actually not the present perfect, but actually the simple past, right? So went is in the simple past because we're giving details and the difference between this one and this one is that over here 
we do not say when it happened. We say that it happened twice, right? So we know we know that at some moment it happened and what's important about um, about the experience is that it would happen twice, right? That's what's important here. But in this case, what's important is not um, is not how many times it happened, but instead when it happened. Notice that here we're including a, we're, we're including specific times. It was three years ago and last year in January. So those are specific times we know exactly when it happened. Okay? So um, we can so we can um, say uh, with basically with the simple past, we're going to say a specific time. But with the present perfect, we're not going to say a specific time. Okay, so it's impossible. It's impossible for me to say, for example, um, I cannot say. Um, We have visited New York three years ago. Okay, we can't say that. That's impossible to say it because, so this is incorrect to say it. Okay, this is incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Because in this one, we are using the present perfect because we're using have and we're using the past participle visited and we're also using a specific time in the past. And that specific time in the past was three years ago. So this is not possible to mix the present perfect with a specific time in the past. We can't do it. And if you think about it, it makes sense because this is just like in Spanish. In, it, the, how would you say this in Spanish? If you were to translate the sentence in Spanish, how would you say that? Okay, good. The complete sentence? Hemos visitado Nueva York hace tres años. Exactly. Hemos visitado Nueva York hace tres años. Is that correct? Can we say that? <laughs> In this country, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, nosotros, no. nosotros hemos visitado New York hace tres años. Okay, but so you can understand the difference. What do you say in Spanish? Do you say hemos visitado Nueva York hace tres años o visitamos Nueva York hace tres años? Visitamos Nueva York hace tres años. Exactly. We say visitamos Nueva York hace tres años. No hemos visitado Nueva York hace tres años. Ok. Does that make sense? Teacher, pero entonces eh, no es no es how. Eh, es, es pasado y por por eh, because uh, a specific time. Exactly. That's why I have put an X here. When? This is uh, incorrect. Yes. It's incorrect uh, uh, to mix. It's incorrect to mix the present perfect with the, the, the specific time. Okay. So we, when we are basically, para que no se me confundan, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to write over here. 
Okay, so this sentence here is correct. Yeah. And the sen and the reason why it's correct is because over here we're talking about actually you know what? No. I'm going to change it to a different color so it's clear. Mm, it's not changing it to a brown. Okay, yeah. Change brown. Okay, so this this is the, the sentence about the simple past when you're giving details. But over here we do not use we do not use the um, a specific time because this is what we call an indefinite in definite time in the past. This is an indefinite time in the past. Okay? So this part here is an indefinite time. Okay? So with indefinite times we use this present perfect whereas this is a specific specific past or time time specific time in the past okay all right so this is an indefinite time in the past we don't know when it happened okay we have visited new york twice when did you visit new york we really don't know it could have been yesterday or it could have been two years ago it could have been five years ago it could have been when you were a baby okay it doesn't really matter it's an indefinite time we don't have a specific time whereas this one is specific so in other words with in, uh, with indefinite time use the present perfect with a specific time use the simple the simple past does that make sense Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you one more example just so that it's clear. Um, she has seen that movie. When did she see the movie? Yeah. Pre present perfect. Right. It is a present perfect. But my question is, when did she see the movie? She, I don't know. Yeah. Correct. It's, it, we don't know. Why don't we know? Well, we don't know because it's on definite time. Okay, we don't say a specific time. When did she see the movie? Maybe she saw the movie yesterday. Maybe she saw the movie this morning. Maybe she saw the movie, you know, uh, five months ago. Maybe she saw the movie when she was a teenager. We don't know. So that's indefinite time. That's why we use the present perfect. Now, when we give details and we are then we are specific, in that case, we're going to be using the present, the simple past. Okay. This is, so we would say, for example, she has seen that movie. Um, she saw it last. Oh, she saw it last July. Her brother took her to the movie theater. And she, and she liked it a lot. Okay, so there you go. All right, so when you 
when you are giving details and you are given specific timing, for example, over here, we know exactly when it happened. When, when did she see the movie? July. And July. Exactly. She saw the movie in July. And we know, and um, because we know exactly when it happened, we are using the simple past. Like saw, took. Oh, sorry. My mistake. I made a mistake. I'm going to change this. Uh, just give me a moment. Yeah, there we go. And she liked it a lot. Okay, so I, so I'm going to be using verbs in the simple past. So like saw, like took, and that's because we have a specific time. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, thank you. Teacher, have a question. Yes. Uh -huh. What is your question? Uh, uh, which which um, sentence? Correct sentence. Uh, we have visited New York three years ago. How? How uh, is correct? Yes, we use have because with uh, we, we use the we use the word have. We use has with he, she, and it. Yes, but the a specific. A specific time. Um, yes. Uh, with the, oh, with a specific time, we use a simple past. Okay. So a specific time in the past, use a simple past. With an indefinite time in the past, so indefinite means that we don't know when it happened. Use the present perfect. Okay. Does that make sense for you? Uh, uh. Es, es el auxiliar. Eh, eh, we have. How have is for present perfect. Eh, simple past is correct. We have. Sim simple past. The simple past of, ha of have is had. Um, okay, so. does that answer your question or is that was that what you're asking? Yes. Yes. Okay. So the simp the simple pass of have is had. Okay. okay? Thank you. So remember, Thank you. this is incorrect. To combine the two things together is incorrect. Put with the with the pre with the indefinite time, use present perfect. With specific time, use simple pass. Okay. Thank okay? you. You're welcome. Any other questions, guys? No questions? Is this clear for everybody? No question, teacher. No question. Okay. All right. We'll stop sharing there. Okay, so those that is pretty much uh, what the the last part that we we have it we weren't able to see. Um, that's it. We have completed section five. Now um, I just I'm curious to know how the polls are. So I'm going to th um, send again the the poll, and this time I want you to. Um, Okay, I'm going to say this in Spanish so it's completely clear. En la encuesta que les mande, quiero que me haga un chequecito en todas las áreas que usted ya completó. Toditas las áreas. 
ok entonces si completó todas las áreas tiene que hacer uh, siete chequecitos ok porque va a ser section 1 2 3 4 5 and the midterm and the final exam ok entonces me van a poner un chequecito en todas las que sí han completado o sea que no solamente denme un chequecito denme todos ok ahorita se estoy tirando ahorita la cachama <risa> Okay, oh, perfect. All right, very, very good. Okay, all right, everybody has voted and I'm going to stop voting, I'm going to stop the poll and I'm going to share the results. Bravo, I see, very good. Sections one, section two, section three, the midterm, section four, section five is finished, everybody's finished. And the final exam, uh, almost everybody's finished. I think only two people that are still working on it. And that's okay. That's okay. You still have uh, two more hours. So my question is the following. I'm going to stop sharing the results, but very good. Actually, I'm going to give you guys uh, one of these. Yay. All right. Excellent. Bravo. Yeah. We're, we're the best. We rock. Okay. Good. Excellent. Now, question. Um, do you have any questions about the final exam? That's my question. Uh, for So I know there are two people here that are still working on the final exam. Or if there were any people that finished the final exam but would still like to ask questions of things they didn't understand. Other question, teacher. You have a question? Other question. Uh, uh, when, when start the new module? Okay, so that's not a question about the final exam, but it is a valid question. Yes, that is a valid question. Um, very good. Um, Anna, unfortunately, I do not have an answer for you. I'm very sorry. I wish I could. I could answer it, but I don't. I honestly do not have an answer. Um, that is something for administration and only they know. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think um, that will depend also on what happens tonight, right? So if, if all the students finish the platform um, tonight and with an 80 or more, then we're going to be able to have an answer as to exactly when it's going to begin. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it will be Monday, but um, for sure we will know this weekend, okay? So um, they will be letting you know, okay? They will be um, giving you a little notification, making sure that you do under that you do know when the new one is going to start and that you have to check your email you guys already know you always have to check your email um, and be able to enroll in the platform so they will be letting you know in the in the whatsapp group now if i know before i will let you know in the whatsapp group as well okay but you will always receive the official um, notification as well okay thank you teacher you're welcome anna any other questions Any questions about the platform? For me, it was very difficult the second to scramble the words. I don't know if it is. Sorry, no, no, no. What was that? For me, it was, was very difficult the, the section 43 in the final exam about the scramble the words because hmm, 
I don't know if there is a, a, a format. I don't know how to do it because I, I those sentences I I wrote them. Ah, one hundred times, or too many times, and I I didn't. And I asked teachers, and I asked too many people, and nobody knows how. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, Lorena. Uh, what section was that? I didn't catch that. I know it's a final exam, but what section? Oh, 4.3, not the final exam. Yeah, in the final exam in section, section B. I think I use section B. I, I, I don't have the time right now, but. The section one, 3. What, what number in section 3? A four. Section. Hi, Lorena. In the one, in the one that does uh, the what's uh, incorrect hate. Remember that I I told you the word the word hate. Oh, but that's not in the final exam. Yes, that's. In the final exam. Okay, wait a sec. I'm I'm lost. Okay, hold on. Bye. Final exam section. What is the section? I, I don't have I don't have it here. I don't have to, to I have to to but what's where if one can help you when talk about Cindy, about Christy mm -hmm. That we have to 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 write the, 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 the words in the correct way. But I don't know why it wasn't important. The one about Cindy? Yeah. Okay, what did you write, Lorena? I, I write in too many ways. I don't know. I don't know. I make planners doing that that the work and all of them was incorrect. And I don't know. At the end, I'm, I'm, I'm sincere, sincerely, I, I, someone help me. I couldn't do it. No, no one. Okay, I don't know, Lorena, if it was you that I answered, but I answered, I remember I answered somebody and I said, you have to add the word is. Or the verb be. Why? Because when we're talking about height, when cuando estamos hablando de la estatura, the verb that we use is not have. The verb that we use is the verb to be. So in the first one it says Cindy has long hair. Cindy tiene pelo largo. So the verb there is have. But you have to switch and then use the verb to be. And then it says so Cindy has long red hair and is medium height. Okay, because we're talking about the verb to be with the height. Okay? Yeah, we can't use the same verb. We can't use the same verb as have because uh, have you used with hair, but be we use with height. And the one with Christy, Christy, Christy and her. Which one? Christy. Christy, I say Christy. Um, it's really Giorgio in her, in her tears, study. And you're missing the word and. Uh -huh. then, um, I so, Christy is really gorgeous and yeah but in the correct and I, I, I know right now what is the correct but when I was I was Christy is really gorgeous really gorgeous and is in her third yeah and that's the correct answer mm-hmm it has to be with the is in her very first. Oh, you can do it all the, the other way around is also possible. You can say Christy is in her 30s and really gorgeous. It's also possible to, to switch. 
write that was incorrect. When you wrote that it was incorrect? No, that's also possible. I'm telling you because I, I'm seeing the, the two possible answers. I can see it. I'm seeing right now the. I'm, I'm looking right now at the two possible answers and both answers are acceptable. It can be Christy is really gorgeous and in her 30s or Christy is in her 30s and really gorgeous. I think it's more, more, it's more specific if you, if you say Christy is really gorgeous and is in her 30s. For me, it's more yeah, yeah, but both are both ways are, are correct. Like, if it makes sense for you, if it, if if you understand it better that way, great. Just keep it like that. Okay. Okay. But the two answers are possible. Yeah, last, or, or to me, I, I, I want to, to practice some work. It's a place or Sorry? A, a place or, a, or where I can work in those, in those sentences. To practice more. In about appearances. If I, if I can look at a, a place in the internet or you know? to talk about experiences. Yeah, what what I can do is, if you'd like, I will look for some sentences, um, and I will send you guys on the WhatsApp group. I'll send you some some um, sentences of uh, or better said some some exercises like the ones I sent you before. If you guys want, I can do that. Is that would that be okay? For me, yeah. I would be appreciate. I appreciate. Sure, I can do that. Yeah, if you want to do it, great. And if you don't, that's okay too, right? It's not an obligation. Just for you, it's for more practice. Okay. Any other questions about the the final exam? No, teacher. I I just want to to thank you. What well, your style is show that you have experience and will learn. I think each one in his own way, but we all learn with you. Thank you. Oh, th you're welcome. You're welcome, Karen. It, that means a lot to me. Teacher. Um, thank you so much. Teacher. Yes, Anna. Uh, thank you uh, for teaching me to speak English. Uh, very nice class. I hope to see uh, you, you next model. Oh, that would be great. I would really enjoy that. Thank you, Anna, for your words, yes. And thank you also, Alma. I read your, your, um, your, your message. I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank um, it you, really teacher. does mean a lot to me. Right. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you teacher, teacher, for everything. You are the only one yeah, that you say more For your question. <laughs> To be to complete the, the class, the, the, the thing that you want to explain, you you are on, uh, always happy. You are you are nice. You you I really like. It. Thanks. Oh, thank you very much, Lorena. I try. I mean, um, I I think it's important for me. It's important to give my best to my students. Um. You know, I, I try to, like, uh, to be very honest, uh, for me, giving class makes me happy. And I think that's what kind of, that's the reason why I'm, I am I am happy when I'm in front of you. Um, you know, not because I don't have problems or anything like that, but it's just simply that, you know, giving class for me makes me happy. So I, I'm, I am happy and, and I'm happy that I could help you. I really am. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh yes, of course. And ask me questions if you guys, even if we're not together anymore. But if you want to ask me a question here and there, like you know, if you're in the next module and you don't understand something, I will be more than happy to help you. If I can, I will help you. Like I've told you before, I may not answer immediately, and it's simply because I'm I'm. I'm very busy with the other job, but but I will try to help you as fast as I can. Okay. Teacher, I have a um, question in the final exam in yes, in the reading. In the reading, um, 
uh, we can we have to choose uh, for uh, think but i try and i didn't <laughs> I... yeah exactly you had to choose four of them which ones did you choose um read book uh get uh, send email wash and dry clothes go shopping <laughs> i don't know okay good you got three out of four correct okay um let me tell you exactly why one of the answers is wrong um the venezuelan food no the one that is wrong is the read books um, you wrote read books and that one was wrong because i'll tell you exactly why it's wrong let me just find out ah uh, okay <laughs> i don't mean ah uh, okay teacher i can do it <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, good. All right, yes. Um, so it, it doesn't mention anything about reading books. It just says there, one store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. Um, but it does. that's all it says about books. It doesn't say that, the, that she can read the books. Uh, but what, what it does say, it mentions that... Um, says, and my roommates told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Mm -hmm. So they, she does mention dancing. So she can dance. Okay? This is the last, the last one. That is the last one, yes. Okay, I finish. <laughs> Yay, all right, okay. I broke, Excellent. I... I broke my head. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. No problem, that happens. Oh, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anything else? Rest in peace. <laughs> no, no, don't rest in peace, please. Rest in peace, descansar en paz. It's dying. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Don't please, please don't rest in peace, okay? But you can go to sleep in peace. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else? Ah, oh, only that. Just thanks. <laughs> okay. Perfect. I am grateful with you. <laughs> oh, I'm. I'm very happy with you and grateful to you. And you know what? I, I've got to tell you something. Um, you, you, well, I, I really appreciate all of your, your wonderful words, and I, and I really do. Um, I feel very flattered. But let me tell you that um, the class, this is not my class. This is actually your class. So you make the class too, right? So it's not just me. It's your participation. And you've all been so wonderful. Um, you've all tried to participate so much. Even the shy people at the beginning of the class were very shy. And then with time, I saw that it, that you were trying to, um, you know, participate more. And that's what makes the class so interesting. It's not so much the teacher; it's more about you. Like you know, the your, the the attitude that you have, and you have a beautiful attitude. Like you know, every one of you. Uh, beautiful attitude that you want to learn and I can tell that so congratulations to you as well okay let me let me give you some reactions there okay very good I yes I, I can't say um, anything more because you really have been great yes okay yes thank you Michelle yes I also a big heart for all of you okay well guys um what can more can I say? We've come to the end of our class and our course. I wish you all the best in the future. If we're not together in the next course, maybe we'll see each other in the future. We don't know. And um, if, But if we're not together, then I hope everything the best for you.
Continue being dedicated as you have been. Continue working hard. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. I've told you that. Making mistakes is part of the process, so it's okay. All right? Um, so that's it. All right? Take care and um, ha enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Bye. teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 B